Hello everyone, today I just want to quickly show you how I got a clip from this to this. Okay, so a quick rundown of the setup of the shot. I used a black backdrop, but you can just use any like dark backdrop. You can use one or two backlights to kind of outline the subject and also add the drama to the lighting of the shot. And that's basically this shot as you can see here. Okay, so to start off, we're going to go to the color page, and as you can see here, I have my basic color correction nodes that I showed in my other tutorial, and I'm just going to fix the highlights and the shadows. Okay, so first I'm going to go to the correction node, and go to the primary wheels, and I'm going to fix the overall gain, the, basically the highlights and the shadows. I'm just going to start fixing it. I think that looks good. I'm going to go to the co contrast, and this is basically where you can see, as you can see, it immediately starts to get rid of the background because it's a black backdrop. So once you think you've fixed the highlights and the shadows and the overall contrast to what you think looks good, you can get rid of the color. You don't need to get rid of the color. If you think that your shot fits more with color, then you can keep that. I'm going to personally change mine because I think the black and white look fits the overall feel. So I'm going to go to the color node and I'm going to go down here to saturation and I'm just going to get rid of all the color. Okay, so once you've finished the overall color grading, you want to do the mask, which is basically a mask that goes around the character and gets rid of the surrounding objects or anything that might ruin the, the void kind of feel that you're going for. So I'm going to make a new node, and I'm going to call this mask. And I'm going to make an alpha output, and connect the blue section like the other tutorial, and you're going to connect it to this. Okay, so you're going to go to the mask section, you're going to use the pen tool, and you're going to draw a mask roughly around your character. Once you've done with the mask, you can just soften it a bit. And you're basically going to play with the mask until you are happy with uh, the overall look. Okay, so once you're happy with the mask, you're going to go down to the editing tab again. And you're going to compose the, the shot. I'm going to call this stage 1. There we go. Once you've composed your shot, you're going to go to the transform tab and you're going to zoom out because you want to leave space for the reflection. You want to kind of show the reflection. So I'm going to zoom out, move this up. And as I see it's a bit skewed, so I'm also going to go to the rotation section and I'm just going to fix that. Okay, so once you're happy with the composition of the overall shot, you're going to go down to the open effects tab and you're going to search for mirror. You're going to drag that onto your clip and initially it gives you a horizontal mirror you don't want that you want a vertical mirror so you're going to go over to the angle section and you're just going to flip it there we go and we're going to go to the y axis which is up and down and you're just going to float that down okay so now you have a basic reflection as you can see here the only thing is when you play it's kind of basic there's no movement to the reflection it kind of just looks like a mirror effect so what i wanted to do to add that extra realism is i added slight ripples to the water which is basically what you're trying to give the feel of so to do the ripple effect you can do it in the editing tab but i like to do it in the color page so i'm going to show you how to do that you're going to go to the color page and you're going to search for a ripple there we go Okay, so the first few things you're going to do to make this effect more realistic, as you can see, the ripple effect is not animated, and it has these weird cartoony kind of highlights. I don't like that, so we can get rid of them over here. And you, to make them animated, you're going to click the animated box, and if you play through, you can see we have this nice ripple effect. Obviously, we don't want it in the center of the frame, so we can click on this star over here, and you can drag it out of the frame, about here. Okay, so this looks okay, but if you zoom in, you can see the effect is kind of spreading throughout the, the clip. It's not just going on the reflection, it's also leaking into the actual subject. So to fix that, you're going to go over to this section, specifically to the decay option. Decay is basically how long the ripple survives. So you're going to bring that down so that it dies before it gets to the actual subject. So as you can see, this is the quite, I think, as you can see, this is the strongest. So I'm just going to go out a bit. Now I'm going to check it until I think it, okay, that's a bit too, too weak. As you can see here, the reflection is slightly rippling and the hand is not moving. That is good. And there you go. As you can see, this process can take a simple clip and actually turn it into something quite interesting.